Hey, I'm Nyla, and I'm really excited to be speaking to you a little bit about my journey of getting my book published when I was 14 years old with Pegasus Publishing. So it is called Chronicles of Illusions, the Blue Wild, uh, but a lot came before that. So looking back, um, I started writing when I was five years old, and it was mainly short stories. So it my love for writing kind of stemmed from my love for reading because I saw the power that words could hold. And after reading certain books, you're just left with messages and, you know, your entire outlook on something can completely change. So I wanted to have the same effects on my readers. And I saw, you know, if so many people are getting books published, so many authors out there, so many books out there, maybe I can do the same. So I started writing these short stories and I would submit them to a few anthologies, a few short story competitions um, here and there. And then from there, I began to progress into longer chapter books. And then when I was seven years old, I wrote my first full novel. It was called Underwater Paradise. It was all about mermaids. So um, pretty entertaining. You can look back on it and it's not not the, not the greatest. Um, but uh, that, that definitely they like, continued throughout the years. And so I kept writing books. And then when I was 10 years old, I became more serious about becoming published. And so I got a professional editor for another book I had written called Etched in Stars. And I queried a bunch of agents and publishing houses, about a hundred. And it just resulted in mass rejection. So I was getting an influx of rejections into my inbox. And it was definitely a little bit disappointing, but I also, or a lot, it was, it was pretty disappointing, but uh, it also further motivated me to meet that goal of becoming published. And I said, you know, not what I was expecting, not what I was hoping for, but I developed a bit of anti-fragility from that. And I went back to the drawing board and I wrote another book when I was 12 years old. I went through the entire process again of editing, of querying agents and publishing houses. And that was this book that got published. Uh, so this one got a lot more interest and I ended up getting it published with Pegasus um, and it was released when I was 14 years old. So uh, just February 25th, 2021. Um, but I think in regards to uh, my biggest tips for aspiring authors, one big thing is just booking out time in your life for it. And that sounds like pretty, pretty basic, you know, it comes to mind, but a lot of people will say that they want to do this, but they don't actually like set out time for it. And it is a time consuming process. It should be fun. You know, you should enjoy it. Um, and so it didn't, it, like, it shouldn't feel like um, really annoying work for you. It should feel like kind of an outlet, um, especially if the genre you're writing is, is, entertaining for you. Um, but I would say that you also have to structure your time accordingly. So if you want to write for an hour a day, maybe writing at 11 p.m. Uh, to 12 isn't the best idea. Maybe you wake up early and you write at like 6.30 a.m. Um, because that's when your mind is a lot fresher. Otherwise, you know, ideas are going to have a little more trouble flowing if you're, you're really tired and you've just come back from work. And that was easier for me because I was in middle school. But also, I would usually write all my books over the summer. And then over the year, that's when I would come up with ideas. So a really big tactic I use in writing is notebooking. And I carry around this little notebook with me. Um, and whenever I see anything interesting, I'll just jot it down. So it could be somebody's outfit. It could be a pretty sunset. Um, I'd say just like by, you know, just living life, you get these ideas and stories that come up and you can forget them or you can actually just make little notes. And then a few months later, when you're looking through them, I find that's when ideas just begin to flow. So um, I'll look at all the notes I've taken over the year and then I'll write my books over the summer. When you're actually writing a book, there's like structured writing and there's also a bit more unstructured writing. And I think striking a balance between the two is a good idea. So to give more context, structured writing is more like beforehand you've planned out every chapter or um, like, you know, you're like chapter one, here's one bullet point of what I want to happen. Chapter two, here's one bullet point of what I want to happen, you know, etc. cetera. Um, and then unstructured is just like, you go with the flow, you just write and it pours from you. And I think um, for me with this book that I wrote, um, it was more of on the structured side, although I've definitely written some 
uh, on the unstructured side as well. But I think just planning out um, in a notebook, like the middle, beginning and end is super important uh, just because you want to know where you're going and what you're leading up to. So that is always a tip I give uh, because sometimes like in other books I've been writing, I'll be writing and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what's coming next. And I'm the author, so I should probably know what's coming next. Uh, and so, you know, just striking that balance between structured and unstructured and having an idea of the, the different portions of the story that you want to cover. Uh, and then also what you're trying to portray and why your readers would want this. So I think having an editor was really helpful for me, but also getting secondary opinions from your relatives and from your friends because that is who you're trying to appeal to, your reader. And so you want to see like, what can they get from this? And, um, you know, why would somebody want to read this? It's always important to ask that question. So yeah, I think that's a little bit about my writing journey and tips for fellow authors. Thank you so much and stay tuned for my second book, Chronicles of Illusions Bound by Dreams, which should be coming out hopefully in the next year.